Hey guys, it's Kristen. So this is gonna be a really quick video, but I just wanted to show you how to clean your Cricut mat. Um, I'm not having as big of an issue at the moment with it being sticky. It's, it is definitely losing its stickiness, but I have two dogs and I'm not a very clean Cricuter, whatever you wanna call it. And so just, I get stuff all over this thing. And I don't know if you can see, I'll zoom it in. Can you see all my hair, the dog's hair? Like it is a mess. It's bad, there's a piece of vinyl. So what ends up happening if I don't clean this that often is it just starts transferring to the stuff I'm making and it gets really annoying. So I'm gonna show you guys how I clean this. I know there's a bunch of videos out there um, and I'm gonna do some of the similar things but just, there's a lot of videos where they're like, don't do that, don't do this, blah, 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 blah. It's fine, just clean it like normal. You're not gonna break it, you're not gonna hurt it, you're not gonna wreck it, anything. So I'm gonna jump into this now and show you how I clean this. All right, so what I'm gonna be using is just a sponge and some paper towel, and then this awesome spray that I got at the dollar store. So the first thing I'm just gonna do is just spray my mat and get the whole thing sprayed. Make sure it's on there really good. And now I'm gonna leave it for like 30 seconds to a minute. All right, so now you're gonna take your sponge, make sure it's wet, you don't wanna use this dry. You can use either side, um, I've used both, but a lot of people are like, don't use this side because it can wreck it. Um, so we'll just use this side for today to show you. And you're just gonna go in a circular motion like this. Like that. And you're just gonna keep scrubbing until it gets it nice and clean. Now when I first cleaned this, I used the rough side and I was pressing really hard and you can see it kind of took it off, but it still didn't wreck the mat. That's what can happen if you're pressing way too hard with the scrubby side. Now I'm just gonna rinse this off with some warm water. All right, so now I'm just gonna lie this on here and I'm pretty much just gonna dab it like this. Um, you don't wanna rub it because you could get some of the fibers from the paper towel on it. Um, but that's pretty much it. It doesn't matter if it's still a little bit damp. Um, just get as much off as you can. Now, if you've never done this before, you might feel your mat and go, oh my God, what did I do? It's not sticky at all. That was how I reacted the first time I did it. I thought, great, I just messed this up and I have to buy a new one. But let it air dry. I left mine for like an hour and you'll see it gets really sticky again. So this definitely works. There's a lot of people that clean it like this. Um, just don't scrub it too hard with anything. Um, some people don't like using a sponge. I think it just works faster and better for me. Uh, but no matter what you're using, just don't scrub too hard or you'll actually take the surface off. All right, so it's been about 10 minutes and I just wanna show you, if I just kind of barely push that, and you can see it's really sticky. So it works really good. I don't know if you can hear that noise. But yeah, the mat, it works really good. So just do that, like I would recommend doing that if you're using your Cricut a lot, like once a week. All right guys, so that's it for today's video. I hope you liked it, and if you did, please give me a thumbs up. Also, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe and then hit this bell so you're alerted when I upload a new video. And I'll talk to you later.